layers, baby. It snowed. I woke up and there's more snow. I'm not even mad because we haven't had real snow. X not, you want to acknowledge the elephant in the room? The elephant that is currently in the room is this um, zit. We calling her Althea. And the reason we calling her Althea is because she popped up in the heat of the night. <laughs> biggest thing that people need to know about working out is like it doesn't really matter how many times you start over I feel like I start over all the time but the but the thing to grasp is that I start it doesn't many times I started over it doesn't times I started you know working out it's just being consistent one day you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it again and you're gonna do it again and you'll be like oh I'm consistent I didn't even know it because the goal was just to start so I am tired, my days are busy, and I don't feel like working out. But I need to work out because I am over the weight I would like to be. Say it, 182 pounds is what I weigh giving birth to my second child, which is literally the biggest I've ever been in my life. Because that's how much I weigh when, uh, when Brenna was born. And that is annoying. But do you give up? No. Do you keep trying? Yes. You just go. So the goal is to move. And I can hear everybody in your mind say, well, you don't look it. Well, it's because you're tall. And that is what you say to me. But that is not what I say to me. So it's still my battle. I should be fluctuating between 155 and 160. That is my zone. 155, 160, 182 is not the zone. So, uh, welcome to me having trials just like everybody else. And I don't eat like crap. But what I, what I know I do do is I do not eat enough food and I don't exercise enough. So because I get busy, I miss meals. And then um, your body stores it. Your body's like, oh my God, we're not gonna get any more food. So I'm just gonna go ahead and store the fat because I don't know when I'm gonna get to eat again. So like starving yourself is not necessarily the key. I know there's like 50,000 gazillion diets that people can go on, but I am not that person. I just know, I know what I have to do. I have to eat regularly. So my body knows I'm eating. Like I have smoothies, I have my meal prep, but I miss it. So when I wake up, I can't be in a rush. So I was trying to be, I've been trying to be like more proactive so the stuff that I get busy on, like, thank God I have a housekeeper. I need to call her now. Uh, I am not good at laundry. So I started going to this laundry service because I need you to pick my stuff up and just bring it back photos so I can put in the car. I mean, not in the car, in a drawer. Because when I'm really, see, that's what I do. I'm always getting in the car. My entire life is in my car. Everything is in my car. Moving along. Um, I will wash all the clothes in the United States of America, but they will sit and they will not get folded. I know what I'm good at. None of that is it. So, whatever. So today was just like, what are the things that you know you need to do? We have a meeting today with my publicist. V is the best publicist in the universe. Uh, we have a meeting so we can discuss the strategy for the entire year. And on the first, I, I designed the entire year, which was cool. So now we put it into play and that is the blessing. So I'm tired and I'm exhausted, but now it's time to shower and I did not get my nails done because I don't have time. I need to go before we go to this place because I can't walk in this meeting looking ratchet. This is what I do, y'all. So welcome to A Day in a Life. <sighs> Straight up looking like scruffy doo, but whatever. I want to show y'all because we did some like merchandising is the word. It's, it's merchandising. 
because my brain wanted to figure out when people have to go to restaurants and wait, you have to find a way to make them not necessarily feel like they waited. So I was trying to figure out what could you do because our food is fresh. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like you're not gonna come here and get like a burger for $3 and it's not gonna be in three minutes. It's like, now we want you to eat to live. So we want you to have an entire eat to live experience, but we started changing some stuff around. So we have like an entire, we've been merchandising for days. When I say days, I mean days. So now we're like a whole, oh, I'm so proud of it. Look at, mm, you gotta come and hang out. So we did up here, we did up here, and then I'm gonna show you guys the back counter because we color coordinated all the books. And I have been going on a thrifting, I thrift, okay? I thrift for cookbooks because I love them and I love that. Like people, when you look for cookbooks, people write notes in them or you see, uh, just, I like to see cookbooks from like years before I was born because that book has been around since before I was born. So I, I, I call it weird, I don't care. It's what I like and it makes me happy. So I'm gonna show y'all a little video, but it's so happy with make, making it super organized and super happy and that's what we did. So I'll let y'all see in a minute. Thank you.